Hey everyone, it's Kim Angel Dream Crafts, and I am back with another entry for my pocket challenge. And this is entry number 33, and it's come all the way from Australia from the lovely Jeanette. And I'm sure you all know Jeanette. She's a uh, Scrap and Happy XL Crafts, incredibly talented lady. So when she emailed me and said she wanted to enter, I was so, so happy. So hello, Jeanette. Um, I did email Jeanette and let her know that it had come. So thank you for that. So let's let me get started and open it here. And Jeanette did do a VR as well. So I did get a peek. Oh, and there's a note right on top here. So let me just open this up. And I will take everything out here. Jeanette's work is just incredibly beautiful and she's totally been one of the inspirations for me on YouTube. Um, and the letter says, Hi there, Kim. Please accept my apologies for being so late with your challenge. May has been such a hectic month and all my crafty things are still packed away. Aw, but I didn't want to miss your challenge. Thank you so much for being, <clears throat> excuse me, a wonderful inspiration on YouTube Aww, and for hosting this challenge, Crafty Hugs, Jeanette. Well, my goodness, you are an inspiration to me, Jeanette, as well. So I really want to thank you for that and for your lovely letter. And I know she had made paper and fabric pockets. So I will start with this. And she has, by the looks of it, altered this bag. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Look at this. I, I'm just thrilled to be able to hold um, a piece of your art in my hands, Jeanette. You are one of the queens of shabby chic here on YouTube, so I've always admired your work. Look at how beautiful this is with the, the lace underneath and these beautiful handmade flowers. There's a doily. I love this bronzy uh, material here that you've used. That's just gorgeous. And lovely crochet trims and an applique and some bling, music paper, beautiful paper in the background. It's just really lovely. And look at this gorgeous lace on the back too. It's absolutely stunning, Jeanette. Thank you so much. And inside are her pockets. This is beautiful, look at it. Really, really gorgeous. Thank you so much. And then these are her pockets. Oh, and here is the information for her pocket. So she's created this little calling card here. Absolutely beautiful. And she's sewn the paper on with a few different stitches in a lovely sort of light blue color. And she's got some vintage buttons here. Um, this beautiful applique piece. There's laces in the background here, another handmade flower and appliques and a little paper flower there and little snippets, which I love snippets. And yep, she's Scrap and Happy XO Crafts. She likes shabby vintage and vintage glam. Ah, uh, she likes soft powder French blue. Oh, me too. She enjoys paper and lace crafts. Oh, yes, I love French blue. Blue is one of my colors. This is a very French blue here, too. Absolutely gorgeous, Jeanette. Thank you so much. And I'm compiling a, um, a book with everyone's emails and addresses and everything. So I'm, um, I will have all of that at the ready. Um, when I want to send out happy mail and she's included some of the leftover snippets that she's used on her um, pockets here and I want to thank you for that because this is just fantastic. I love love snippets and to have somebody else's is very amazing. Look how inspiring this is. She's got this beautiful trim underneath here all kinds of different laces and then she's sewn this beautiful fabric on top with, again, that beautiful um, light blue thread on top in a zigzag stitch. And then she's um, attached it to a piece of muslin. That will just be beautiful on an envelope or a card or a lace project on, the, on top of a pocket, anything. It's really beautiful. Thank you, Jeanette. I, I love it. Thank you for including that in there. 
And then these are her um, pockets. Now she's taken some paper here. I think it's like a butcher's paper. Um, it's been a while since I've seen Jeanette's um, VR, but I love the feel of this paper. And again, she's sewn all around and she's used this beautiful ecru color here. Looks tea dyed actually, and it looks vintage as well. And then she stayed with her favorite colors again here, the, the tea dyed and the shabby vintage and the beautiful soft blue with all the threads and the sequins in the center. I love this pocket because um, a lot of the pockets have been big, which is wonderful, but I don't have a lot of the smaller ones. So this is, this is nice to have a smaller one. I like that. I love the size. Um, it's very sturdy. You, it's still a nice, good, deep pocket, too. So, thank you, Jeanette. Look at how gorgeous that is. I love those colors. That's, that's super inspiring to me, the colors. And then here is her second pocket. And again, she's used this same paper and sewed it. And more beautiful lace trim here. And this pocket she's done on an angle. A couple of people did that, and I really, really like how that's done. You can see here the angle and that she's done the zigzag stitch and then the beautiful um, flower that she's created with some more of her snippets and more beautiful lace in the background it's just absolutely stunning I love this one that's just beautiful and then it's got a little little tiny rhinestone right in the center so pretty I love how you made this flower too and then here is a piece of the little snippet trim that she's used across the top. You can see that's the same. So you can see how she's used, oh, on, the, on this one too, except she added the thread on top. I love how you did that with the thread. I love that look. So vintage looking. Really just gorgeous. Thank you so much, Jeanette. And then here is her fabric pockets. And oh my goodness, she's wrapped it in this beautiful table runner. Oh, oh, she, oh my gosh. I thought she had done fabric pockets. This is goodies. Oh my gosh. Jeanette, you did not have to do that. Oh, that is so sweet of you. Oh, and yay. Mm, that smells yummy. I love dryer sheets. <laughs> that will go right in my lace drawer. Thank you. Oh, look at this beautiful table runner. Look at this. It's just gorgeous. That is going to make a beautiful cover for a book. Oh, I love it, Jeanette. Thank you so much. It's really pretty. Look at the, the piece in the middle there. Absolutely stunning. Thank you so much, Jeanette. That was so kind of you. Oh, I love it. Super pretty. I love it. And she added some appliques, which was so kind. Jeanette, thank you so much. Look at this. I, I love beaded appliques. And these look like they've been removed from a wedding dress, I suspect. Um, which is wonderful because I'm getting low on um, white beaded appliques and I was considering getting another wedding dress in the near future to cut up. I have a big bodice piece left and that's all I've got, but I don't have a lot of smaller um, appliques like this. So these um, come in very handy. These are beautiful. Oh my gosh, how exciting to have appliques from Jeanette. Look at this. Oh, I love that. This is like silk stitching up here too. And look at all these beautiful pearls. Some of them are big, some of them are small. Oh, it's gorgeous and so shimmery. Really beautiful, Jeanette. That was so, so sweet of you. And a beautiful big piece here. Look at this one. There seems to be two of these. I think they're pretty similar. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Wow. And there's the other one. Jeanette, thank you so much. That was super sweet of you to send me some goodies. I did not expect that. I actually thought there was other pockets in there. Oh, that was a nice surprise. Thank you so much. 
So let me show you her pockets once again. Um, I'll show you her calling card again as well because it's just beautiful. And you've really inspired me with these colors too, Jeanette. So thank you so much for that. And she's even got some of that beautiful thread tucked in there. See? I love that. Oh, they're just gorgeous. So there's the two pockets. Just stunning and her beautiful bag that she altered. Everything is gorgeous, Jeanette. Thank you so, so much. And um, I'm glad that your entry got here because we were a little worried it was a little late, but it does take a while to get things from Australia to Canada. So it is here. And thank you so much for your kindness um, and sending me the goodies and of course for entering my challenge. And um, uh, I'm going to try and get the um, drawing done, just a little update on the challenge as well. Um, I'm going to try and probably do the, um, the drawing on the weekend. Um, I'm still waiting for a couple of outstanding entries, but I've been in touch with people, so everything is fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put everybody's name in that's entered um, because I've, I've been in contact with everybody, so that's fine. Um, and then we'll just go from there after that. So look for um, sometime this week, and I'm not sure what day. Um, I have a few things going on at home here, so um, I, I, uh, I uh, don't know what day it will be, Saturday or Sunday, or maybe Monday even, I'm not sure, but it'll be one of those days. So keep an eye out for that, guys, and I will be back with another video very shortly. Thank you, Jeanette. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.